What's up, my friends? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Panuzaya. Today I'm with another new video, and in today's video, I'm basically going to be me trying to attempt. I'm attempting the recipe of the most fluffiest pancakes ever. This is going to be interesting because, like, I've never like made pancakes, so this is going to be my first attempt to make any kind of pancakes. And even that, I'm going to be making the fluffiest. I'm going to be attempting to make the fluffiest, I shall say. So let's do this, to be honest with you guys. So the first thing that we need is a lot in a large bowl. Okay, so I'm going to get a large bowl. Um, if it's not too good, I don't have much space. Okay, my battery ran off. I need to see the recipe. So. Basically, in a large bowl that I have here, we should be adding um, one and quarter cup of flour, all-purpose all flour will do. So I'm just adding that right now. Okay, so I have the flour in. Next thing I'm going to be needing is one and a half tablespoon sugar. So, okay. I don't have any measuring cups, so I'm just going to be eyeballing it to be honest. So, I hope that this thing works. Oh, wait, I have a tablespoon in the sugar can. One. And a half tablespoon. I know I should be using like powder sugar, but like it's probably gonna work the, just the same. Next thing we need is one teaspoon. Now I have the teaspoon here, which is this small. One teaspoon kosher salt. Now I don't have that, so I'm just gonna be using normal salt. So yeah, I hope this works. Even if it, even if it makes like normal pancakes, it's gonna be fine. I just want some good tasting pancakes. Next thing we need is some baking powder and baking soda. I'm just gonna be using baking powder. Three, I, I need to see if it's three tablespoons or three teaspoons. One second. So it is three teaspoon baking powder. Baking powder. So um, I'm gonna do that. Now, now if you notice, I'm not really talking that much. Because while I'm making a recipe, I'm like, it's suddenly all quiet. So, yeah, I'm in that mode right now. One, two, and then three. Now, I'm kind of skeptical because I've never put that much baking powder in any recipe. So this is like, interesting. It says lumps are loud. Lumps are gonna be fine, so um, I'm I am not being worried for the powder sugar situation. But like, if it doesn't work, I'm gonna be using powder sugar. I hope it works. I I kind of know it will work because like that's sometimes people don't use powder sugar, so it should work properly. But like, if it doesn't. We're going to be having to give it a second attempt. I know it will work, but like if it doesn't, so. Now let's move on to the wet, like, things. So now the next step is to add. So in the next step, it is to add one and a quarter of uh, um, buttermilk. Okay. That shouldn't be too hard because like, it's going to be fine, okay? So I don't, but it's not, actually it's not going to be fine. I knew it. There is always a problem. Basically, basically I don't have buttermilk. So I have seen a lot of people use like vinegar to make buttermilk. It, they add like a splash of vinegar to make buttermilk. So I'm just going to be doing the same. I have the, like, yeah, I want to do that. forgot to say but this recipe i'm making for four people by the way i don't know if i forgot to say it or not but yeah now i've added the one cup milk i'm gonna add, gonna add the more 
one fourth and then um, we are going to be adding the melted butter and and what else I, I kind of forgot okay we're gonna have to look again oh yeah the egg yolks I'm using two eggs for this that should be one and a quarter there we go and then next we shall add the melted butter Oh, it's right over here. So I'm gonna add that. Um, yeah. This is one stick melted butter. It's not like too melted, but well, it's melted enough. So, because there is sense that it's no lumps, I'm kind of working really freely right now because it says there are no lumps. Like, I mean, because it says lumps are like, it's going to be fine with lumps. So I'm like working really free right now. Because if they're lumps, I need to be like melted and like stuff like that. Because there are no lumps, it's going to be just fine. As you guys can see, I'm like doing a lot of things wrong. Oh, by the way, I'm also going to add the vinegar. This is making a mess. This is my first time doing this. I just definitely making a mess here. I hope this vinegar is not expired. No, it is not. Okay, it's not expired. I just had a, like a splash of vinegar. I don't even know if that's right or not, but like, uh, we're gonna see, I guess. So I'm first I'm gonna mix these two with the butter situation as well. And then I'm gonna mix like the egg yolk. This is like, I don't know why, but this is so hard for me. I thought it this would be really easy, but it's really not. At least it smells good. I mean, that's kind of nice. I know that this video must be really boring for you guys. I can feel like the bad thing, but like, when we're gonna mix everything together and like fry the thing, it's gonna be fine. So right now it's kind of boring and like noisy as well because of this. But it's gonna be fine, guys. This mix is really this whisk is really helping because like I can't imagine I can't imagine me doing this with a spoon. See what happened to the spoon. So the whisk is really helping. Now I'm going to do the egg yolk. Let's make that. This is going to be really hard because I need to separate the yolk and the white. So we'll see. This egg is like not cracking. There you go, crack. I'm gonna just add all the oh um okay I added a little bit of yolk there but like I can take it out so it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine okay that should be fine yeah I have a little bit of white there but that should be fine okay if it's not it's fine I'll just eat it like that I'm not a picky eater in case of desserts, so it's not going to be a problem. Okay, that was perfect. Great. That was perfect. I'm so proud of myself right now. The whites, the whites I'm going to have to do something with them sooner or later but like the yolks are going to be used now and then mix that in easy peasy this is super easy that's just the mess that's kind of like when like when you're like done with putting everything back in this place it's going to be just fine now i'm going to be seeing the next step and washing my hands so i'll meet you after that so the next process is to add the buttermilk mixture to the dry ingredients 
Oh wait, <coughs> this one has some more mixing to be done. I'm just gonna do that and finish with that. So that's gonna be in the process. I'm gonna lower, like I'm gonna decrease some of the flour because I think I added too much. So that should be good. So now I'm going to add the mixture to the, um, the flour. And then it says to fold and not mix. I'm just going to do that. Folding is to just take the downer part and then put it on like the upper surface. I don't know if you guys understood all that. But yeah, just fold until it's like battery mixture. Okay, that's kind of appealing to be battery, mist battery mixture, but like this will take some time. I think this is working to be honest with you guys, because this is like just like I saw in a recipe video. So like, yay! Yay! We have some more of the bat left here. Like the buttermilk. I'm just gonna add that. And there are like not many lumps, so I'm really happy about that. Now I think it's time to mix it. It's been enough pulling. I'm really evil, aren't I? <laughs> no, 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 there are definitely some lumps. There are definitely some lumps, my goodness. Oh. There you go, and then I'm done with the batter. It's like, it's good enough, you know. For an unprofessional chef, it's good enough. For an unprofessional chef who doesn't know what he what she's doing, it's good enough. Okay, some lumps are there, and I know that, but like it says, lumps are okay. I think I don't even know, so fine, 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 fine. We're gonna work with it. So guys, now is the stove part. I need to get all of this out of here, and I need so much space okay i'm gonna clear out all these things and then we're gonna go to the frying part i'm very excited so guys now it says to obviously turn up the stove i'm gonna do that this is like a lot of work for me so i'm gonna turn out the stove and then we're gonna work out the next thing so guys the stove is on and now we are going to be adding a bit of butter to this thing and then we are going to be waiting until it um this butter is not going in so we're gonna wait until it's gonna melt and start bubbling up and then we're gonna be lowering the heat this one is not going out i'm gonna use another spoon come out please yeah so that's done and I'm going to be using my spatula. There you go. It's right over here. So it's starting to bubble up. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, it's starting to bubble up. Now I'm going to lower the heat. Okay. Now, we are going to be adding our batter. I know that you guys cannot see me right now, but we're going to have to wait for some time. Okay. Um, who knows what will happen? <laughs> this is like cool to watch because it's like bubbling up like a little bit on the upper part. 
Woo, so excited! Does it have a tasty, okay? I'm like so excited. <laughs> I'm scared that it will like start popping up like <gasps> that big and like then everything's gonna get ruined. But I know I that's not gonna happen, but like I have weird thoughts about it. <laughs> I think this is gonna be a success. I really think this is gonna be a success. We'll see. So I think it's good enough time to like flip. Oh no, mm -mm. it wasn't. Nope, it's definitely not good enough to flip yet. All the professional cookers are like, what are you doing? Don't flip right now. And I'm like here flipping the pancake when it's already not ready. I don't even know when it's gonna look like it's ready, but I'm gonna see the next part of the recipe. This kind of like has that like a really milky feeling which I like so excited. Is it yet? I don't think so. I don't think it's done yet. If one burns it's gonna be fine. But that's my first attempt. Attempt. Okay, this is like giving me It's a bit like breaking apart, but that's fine because this is my like first attempt. So I just hope it tastes good. I'm just gonna take out the sides because I've seen chefs do like this. And I'm gonna start going inside. It's breaking apart a lit little, but like, we're gonna see. So I think I need another spatula to do this. Maybe a spoon will help, maybe. I think it's time to flip. Moment. <gasps> this looks beautiful. Oh my goodness, you guys. It looks beautiful. <laughs> I did it. I did it. I did it. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have some on the big curve. This is it? Like beyond exciting for me this is so great i'm gonna show my mom right now okay 